butter. What is Vegemite made of? Oh, fuck's sake. It's, it's like it's mold, gonna look yeah. fat there. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's like it's God knows <laughs> what is inside there. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it like <laughs> leftover from like the beer industry or something like that? Isn't <laughs> yeah. it something like that? I think it's something. Yeah, yeah, something yeah it's like good. That. It's just this massive amount of yeast and salt. Oh, yeah, it's honestly, just, yeah. Good. I know it's got shitloads of yeast in there. I tried it once, and I think that's the last time. Yeah, probably a couple like, of times I got fuck, wasn't man, totally man, convinced just, either. You know, no. I think it's like that. Put, that's put it with like, avocado. That's eh? that's cilantro and uh, and uh, what is it uh, the 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 what, fruit the, the durian no the, yeah uh, uh, the cilantro and durian put together for me yeah like, <laughs> fuck, man, just, like a really good thing to it's do it's just yeah. not kicking at all. No, I, think it's a, 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 I think it's a choir taste, definitely. In a casserole, like if you're doing a casserole at home, you often see a grandma or someone like scoop out a, a big um, tablespoon of Vegemite and. Well, you make your own. Tap, no, no, you put it in the um, put it in the casserole. Yeah. It creates a really nice. Well, we do that. <laughs> salty. Oh, it's just <laughs> fucking full of. To salt. essentially destroy it for our time. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. don't have enough. No food, other motherfuckers yeah. coming eating. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have enough food, I mean that's the perfect yeah. thing to put it yeah. on. It's like Vegemite stew. Yeah, yeah, Vegemite stew. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That no, definitely quite taste, but with lots of butter. Oh, it's good. Bye-bye. Yeah, I mean we got in Sweden we got caviar, which is not caviar. Yeah, I don't know much about it. It's smoked fish eggs, um, cod. It's right. pink. This thing, it's in a tube. Oh yeah, it's smoky I tried and salty. That, that we love it in Sweden. Yeah, but that's something like the Vegemites, you know, like yeah, Sweden, right. I mean, the Swedes love it. But I've seen people. Veronica cry over it. Alex and Veronica and are fighting about it, and yeah. I'm like, you can leave this thing for 14 years in the fridge. I would not fucking touch that shit. <laughs> it's like fucking wild. Is it? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like this is like I mean, the, 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 I you know he grew up on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, both yeah. of them are eating, like it's just favorite yeah. thing. Caviar. Uh, so it's not caviar, it's, but it's like a fake. No, man. no it's not it, caviar. It's either. a low budget like thing, budget. Uh, like a uh, fish egg sort of. Like, it's like a caviar fucking mayonnaise. Some... I mean, like really, like it comes in that that, that type of tube. Yeah, right. It, yeah. yeah, it comes in a tube like that. It's pinkish. You see, you see <laughs> yeah. the small, small, small cod fish yeah. eggs. They're very small. Yeah. Not not like the sturgeon that have yeah, big yeah, right. eggs. Yeah. Yeah. But these are very very small. Digi 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 digi, and it's smoked. You know, so it has a slight smoky yeah, flavor right. and very salty. Yeah? All right. Man, when Veronica is telling me about caviar, because the, I, I really fucking think that they, they fucking ate it all. Um, man, I mean, like, you you were buying caviar, black caviar, which now, like, the thing like this, yeah. like 10 by 10 centimeters okay. is fucking $200. Yeah. And I mean, it is delicious. Yeah, right. but it's two hundred bucks. I like to do uh, when I eat fish. And yeah. they were they buying that it. in buckets. Right. I'm not talking bucket. There is a. I, I saw. I, I gotta get this this poster. There is a woman, kind of like with a bucket on yeah. it, kind of like in that kind of pose. Yeah. And I'm like, this is not fucking real. I mean, literally in front of that woman currently, yeah. is around twenty grand. Yeah. At least, yeah, yeah, yeah. if yeah, not yeah. more. Yeah, but you see in the in the street, you see people selling it in the street, and you see like like yeah. like you go to you, where is you, this? Sorry, you where they sell in the street? Like, like in Russia, in Russia like, like, like that. these oh. countries, are, these countries around Cold there. Right. Iran got the best, actually. Yeah, yeah the, it's yeah the, the, caviar, you know. Is it? Yeah, but I mean, we eat a lot of fish crazy. eggs in Sweden. Yeah, so like caviar as well, but not the sturgeon. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. like from other from different kinds of fishes, you know. So that's that's quite a. Quite so a so thing. the caveat yeah. comes from the surgeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. The black one is like I mean, and also I mean, you can fuck up. You know, you just don't don't know what you're getting really. <laughs> you know, some of yeah, them are right. amazing, and some of them can be like kind of like a little bit too salty or whatever it is. And then they're buying this red Pop caviar. In the mouth, quite nice. Red caviar is like you know like bigger bigger balls. Salmon, for example, have big red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, and you know. that sometimes is just it's incredible, and sometimes it's just I don't know. Yeah, it's not. But that's not the sturgeon one. The sturgeon one is black, is gray, right. gray almost. Yeah, is, right. this but, is but like salmon got the big red snake. Is it? Uh, oh, that over there. Oh, that's not a fucking snake. That's grass, man. Oh, okay. 
It just went over my leg. So, <laughs> yeah. like, and I've seen the seen the snake snake here. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm glad it didn't seem like that. I got a, I got a phone call from my sister the other day. They were camping. Um, oh, actually, they've just bought this new house in on the Sunshine Coast. Fucking hell! So many snakes. She's bought like five snakes in the last. Yeah. Okay, five yeah, weeks. Three days. <laughs> three days. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, yeah, got the lady. Yeah. She's got chickens. She's got chickens and, and all these other things, but there's snakes everywhere. And she was, they were all sitting. She's got what? She's got one, two, three, four kids. And they're all under eight. And they're all sitting outside on the, on the veranda only last week. And they're all like having dinner. And um, all of a sudden, an eastern brown just went <sighs> straight through the eastern brown. Fuck. Man, but it's eastern brown, special. one of the most yeah, fucking yeah, venomous snakes, yeah, snakes you can actually get. Yeah. I think it's like you know, second or third. You, know. you if, have four seconds you, to you've live. Got, yeah. you've, you've so you got to be. What are you gonna do? You got yeah, it's just done. <laughs> and I was sitting there, and it just went straight through the fuck. Like no, it's just it actually said it didn't even go very fast. It wasn't like threatened, it was just on its way to somewhere. But they've got this little water sort of feature, they've got chickens, they've got, you know, all the stuff that attracts pythons and snakes and everything. But this yeah, they just just it just basically went through the, the middle of the uh, It is incredible yeah. that Australia has so many things that can kill you. That's what that's it one of the things that have fascinated me the most and made made me want to go to Australia since I was a kid. Yeah. Was all those things, the snakes and all that stuff. But Indonesia is the only country that I know of in the world where I have seen, not with my own eyes, mm. but seen on TV, on the news, some mm. videos like that, snakes that actually eat humans. You know this, yeah? Uh, no. Pythons. Pythons, yeah. Yeah, but, but, they, yeah. They eat humans. Okay. Search on YouTube, Google it. No, no, I know I, that they found some people, uh, you know, like... Three uh, times what I've been in Indonesia, there's been people eaten by snakes. Yeah, and right. I've seen it. I've seen the news. Right. I've seen them cut open the snake. One was a farmer. He had the rubber boots on. Of course, the Indonesians, so they're not our size. But yeah, still... But big anaconda right, style, massive. Um, python. Or... They say that some of these pythons can even get bigger than anacondas. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So some of these like rock pythons, etc., like that, they can yeah. be like, you know, eight, yeah. ten meters long maybe. Yeah, right. You know, like, yeah. and massive, yeah? Yeah, right. Man, when they cut... That was the first one I saw, yeah? When they cut that fucking farmer out, because people have been telling me, especially in Sulawesi, people have been telling me like, yeah, there are snakes that eat humans. And I was like, they can eat a goat. They can eat. I know yeah. that, and I don't want to be like that. But there's a lot of myths floating around in this country as well, and there's a lot yeah, of mythology and and you know things like that. And I've been like, no, man. I, no, until I, man, when they cut that farmer out, it was the thing that really got stuck in my head. That was the boots, yeah, yeah. the rubber boots on, fully clothed, yeah, uh -huh. rubber boots on, and everything like that. And they like, and they like pull him out dead, of course, yeah, yeah, man, like this. A restrict like uh, it's just like basically just oh that python is not going around. anywhere yeah and uh, i mean like you are not going anywhere no, if it catches you that will yeah. take time no, that will massive, take time man. some of them mess yeah, yeah take time for them to it's... digest and those rubber boots i don't know if how what they do with those how do they come out i don't know yeah if they wouldn't have cut them out but yeah. you, you should actually you should actually look at it. it's quite fascinating to look no, no, at I, I saw yeah, I saw I saw the thing uh, just yeah, recently yeah. in Bali I think somebody got uh, got fucked uh, in Jibaran or something mm. like that so uh, yeah, yeah I know I mean like I mean the, the snakes are not uh, targeting humans they, no. they just happen to uh, you know fucking eat them I mean any python would eat a human uh, so is, any anaconda would eat a human uh, that's that's without a doubt. Uh, I mean, if they're big enough, why would they make a difference between us or anything yeah, else that they could eat? Nah. Like, of course. I mean, constricting. They're just like yeah, I mean, yeah, themselves they, around you and squash. You yeah, squash, dead. crush up the bones yeah, a little bit up. like that, make it all like that, and, and, and also we, the jaw and just we, like, we oh. taste like chickens. Yeah, so. yeah of course. Like, that's what yeah. cannibals are saying. The biggest yeah. one we've got in Australia yeah, is called uh, amethystine python. And it lives in the water, and it's not like you know the size of an anaconda, but fuck, they get big. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I mean, you know, big. 
massive yeah, yeah. pythons like yeah you know, i've seen a bunch of python but I, unfortunately yeah. and it's one of my like dream snakes to see like really big that is like i really want to see one of those massive massive ones like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the biggest ones i've seen just been like three meters like that yeah. but i would like to see like one of those five six meters yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's that's, like, that's uh one. i mean they're old they're old man yeah you yeah know, this yeah. man they move around Shit. I mean, there's this footage of um oh, there's this, this story I, think I, was, I actually feel like it was somewhere around indonesia or somewhere but in world war Two, there was you know the spitfire all, all the the pilots that were flying around They've got this footage of these that the, you know, they were on a reconnaissance somewhere. I thought it was around here, like in, in Indonesia somewhere. But um, this pilot sort of saw something going from a uh, yeah you know, from swamp to swamp, and he was like, "Damn, hell, is that a snake?" And it's like the size of it. Like, they're talking massive, like you know, 16, 17 meters long. What? And he actually came by, so the pilot came by. Oh, I saw that thing. Two pilots, and he came by so low, and he got some he got some photos of it, and, and he came down and did another bypass, and there was another aircraft that was doing another reconnaissance. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but this thing, they reckon, is, was just enormous. Massive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enormous. It was like... No, I mean like that. That thing were uh, these these massive jungles and and, and, yeah. and forests. Oh. God knows what is there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and oh, and underwater, true. man. I think yeah. that we have not found everything. No, like not even no. close. I mean that those the, that footage of those uh, octopus that is oh, giant yeah. squids. Yeah, giant squids. Colossal uh, squids. Jesus Christ, man! I mean like colossal squids even fuck. bigger. Yeah, yeah. Colossal, the giant squid and then it's the colossal squid. Colossal right. squid is slightly shorter but it has a bigger body, which makes it even more. Yeah, did you see that? I think we, maybe we talked about it last time, but did you see that Japanese uh, scientist who made his own submarine to go? Oh, yeah, to, he was, was the first one to get footage of a giant squid. Giant squid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we had only seen them dead up until then. Yeah, wow. Well. He was the first one to get footage of it first uh, on the, from the back of a sperm whale attaching a camera because they, they eat those, yeah? So that's actually how we found out about their existence that. because See. their main, you know, f food source is squids and Ugh. they go down to these extreme depths. And yeah, we learned about it because we see these scars of this size on the, on the bodies of the sperm whale, yeah? So he attached a camera to a, sp to a sperm whale, you know? Yeah. And he goes down, the, 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 so that's the first footage. But he wanted to see it live. So he gets this fucking submarine done for him <laughs> and goes down there with this table-sized tuna attached to it, which is some like... <laughs> That's Darwin would just say, "Go fuck yourself." And, you, know, like, you know, you're not. Okay. You know, like so we're goes, doing this. Cool. And that's uh, some of the creepiest fucking footage I've seen. Well, yeah. He go down there and he's like, "Oh, he's so excited," right. mm, right. you know, like that, and he's going down and he's sitting in his little fucking bubble. Like we're we're not talking like a huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. We're talking a small thing, yeah. Uh, and he go down and he's like, "Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it?" And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and then you see in this documentary, you see the footage. Yeah, out of the, the, they have these uh, tentacles. All squids got the yeah, but they got two arms mm -hmm. that are that are for for catching things, and they yeah. can shoot them out. Yeah, sort of boom, shoot them out like that. Yeah, right. So you just see these two like coming out of the darkness, boom, <laughs> massive, and it just wraps around that tuna, and then it just <laughs> goes. This guy goes. 700 meters, 800 meters, 900 meters, 1,000 meters. This shit drags him down to, I don't remember if it was uh, like two kilometers or something like that, or 1,500 meters. Submarine when it was down. like, yeah, and he was like, I'm gonna have to cut it, I'm gonna have to cut it, I'm gonna have to, and then it doesn't, and then finally the, the, the squid takes off and shit like that. And of course he's super excited, it was like his, his <laughs> big dream, yeah? And I was like, oh, man, imagine I mean, being down there, you know, 
in the total darkness, yeah. Oh, Nothing man. around you. There's no reference. There's no visual reference at all. Yeah, it's just darkness, man. yeah. I couldn't. I, I've never ever thought being a submarine, submarine. would be a good job. No, man. No. Me either. Like, me either. You know, you no. see these navy guys and they're thinking, oh. oh, fuck that. Like, man. I mean, especially like, going to war yeah. in that like, ship, oh. man. Fuck. Boom! You get hit by a fucking torpedo. You are stuck down. Yeah, yeah. It was this Russian submarine that, that became yeah. quite known in Sweden because it was in the Baltic Sea. Yeah. Yeah, right. And got, yeah. got, you got, you got fucking. I mean, they died down there. Like, they in. couldn't be rescued. They, they were like, oh. okay. So they're like, okay, imagine that. But that's you, confined. You don't areas, even die from a bomb blast. Small. Everything's like. Yeah. Bending down and the noise. Ah, oh, fuck that. And you sit in there. Yeah, you, you, you don't get blown up, you know, that's something, yeah? yeah? But you're sitting in there waiting to die, waiting for the oxygen to run out and everything, you know? Like, man, that can take time too, yeah? And the thought of yeah. just getting out and, like, you know, the pressure of fucking under the water oh. that far, I mean, like, fuck. But there was a massive, that was like a massive thing on the news, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I remember the yeah, that was people big. saying that, you know, Australia should get involved. All these countries were interested in getting involved. Tri- yeah. You know, to try and save them, but Russia, oh, was it Russia? China, Russia. Russia. Russia, yeah. Yeah. I just didn't go with it. Which reminds me a little bit of that other thing that also gave me a little bit of creeps, that fucking Thai school class. Oh, yeah, yeah, team. yeah, yeah. They, they got stuck, man. Who, who got stuck? They went into some caves. Yeah, man. They went oh, deep caves. Right. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. The teacher. Fuck, that's right. And then it flooded. And they just went like deeper inside and they got stuck inside. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it got, yeah. also became huge. Like in the, they brought in people from all over the place. Yeah. yeah some yeah, soldier divers, died yeah. doing it. Yeah. Divers, divers to go that, rescue. Like they, divers. They, they, they slipped some stuff uh, to calm, calm the children down when they were doing this, I heard. They, yeah, they slipped, yeah, right, slipped yeah, some, right. some sort of a kind of like a calming, uh, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, bring, uh, to bring them yeah. out. Yeah. Dude, them, I mean, like, yeah. you know, I would take all of the drugs yeah. to go through that. Maybe not all. I mean, take, well, probably... Would you take some ecstasy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, ecstasy would be amazing. It's like, <laughs> I love this. Time. Not anymore, not anymore. Okay. Uh, no, but I mean... <sighs> maybe, some, maybe some good dope would be good. No, but I mean, yeah, it was kind of like this, this, this little paranoid, little kind of... Uh, yeah, cra- like, paranoid. they were barely kind of going through, you know, yeah, like, yeah, and sometimes divers, they would yeah. have to take off the, 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 That's right. the, 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 the oxygen supply to, to go through it. I mean, yeah, pushing it, exactly. fuck, yeah. man. I mean, that I is just, to, I've been trying, fuck I've been diving. trying the equipment that you use, so like side mounts, like, you know, so you have two, yeah? Yeah. And they can be disconnected, yeah? You hook them up with a hook right. to your belt, yeah? So they can be disconnected just in order for you. And I've tried it and I've swam with it and I've tested all different techniques with it yeah. and everything like that. But they do that because so many times it's so narrow that you have to take them up. So you put one in front of you and you might put the other one because it's only big enough for you to squeeze through it. Yeah, but right. like, don't fucking do that. Yeah, Why? Yeah, yeah. Nice. That reminds me, when I, was, when I was traveling through Africa, I was like 23, 24 or something. And I, got, I was in Cape Town and... Um, Back, I was at 19, like it's just before apartheid. Um, so it was like just before? 90, no, it was 1994. So, yeah, in Africa. And I was saying this backpack is in, in Cape Town. And this, well, hang on a bit, where was he from? He was fucking crazy. He owned the backpackers. He was, um, I think he was Dutch. Dutch or German. But anyway, he had this, um, there was a sign up. Basically, you know, backpacking was sort of, just taking off there wasn't many people around but he was doing these tours um and there was a sign up come caving and i was like oh i'll give that a go like you know and basically you know, we took um a group of us the next day to this mountain range like we drove in his van um to this mountain range and what he used to do and what we ended up doing was we got to this this spot we got out we walked through the bush in the into the in the into this mountainous sort of area and then there was a hole yeah about like this big yeah yeah and it was sort of like wasn't an easy hole to get into yeah. and i was you know bigger then yeah and for me to even get in there was going to be impossible and there was myself two other guys this fucking crazy dude that owned this backpackers and um a couple of girls and one of the girls was a little bit large, and mm-hmm. um, but 
before, like, you know, before we actually, I, I didn't know what to expect. This is the first time I've ever done caving. And, um, and I was fucking excited about it, young and, you know, excited. And, but, but he said, before we go in, everyone's going to have a chill up. Yeah. South African chill. Basically, you know, like a bong. Sure. A bong. A bong. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. If you don't have this, you will not be able to fucking get through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone's like, you know, smoking bongs before we get in there. <laughs> sure. And uh, just to relax everyone. And I was surprised I even got into this hole. And I sort of eventually sort of got my body around and I got into this hole, not knowing what to expect. I was sort of thinking, you know, there's going to be a massive cave and whatever. And, we spent, oh, oh, it was just fucking nuts. Like, so this guy was at the front with a light and he had another guy at the back, one of his, um, one of his offsiders with a light and we were all in the middle and we were on our, like, it was the, we were in there, we were in the fucking cave system for about three or four hours. Mm. And on our stomachs, I could feel like the rock, I, my head was hitting the rock, and it was sort of wet oh, man. in certain areas. Oh. And we're like crawling through like this, through these little fucking holes in the middle of the mountain. Oh. And event and and like it was so fucking scary. Like when I think eventually I think the it. bongs wear off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you are yeah. like, you get the rock what now? But then. <laughs> Kind of one of the girls, one of the bigger girls was sort of in the middle of the group. And then there was all the, you hear her yelling out and everyone sort of stopped. He stopped at the front and we're all sort of like, you know, on hands and knees going through like this. And, uh, and she got stuck. Oh, fuck. And, and what, like, what number was she in line? I, I just, she's like in the middle. Yeah. And, oh, like, shit. You know, and she was starting to freak out. Yeah. Well, and like you know, and we, were, we were all just like we could hear her yelling out, and pitch dark. Yeah, so this oh, guy's shit. got a light at the front. So everyone, there was no light. Yeah, you know, he had a light at the front. There was a light at the back, but really, you could half you know, occasionally you'd catch a glimpse of the light. You know, other times you were just in pitch dark, just sort of crawling through, and um, and she started to freak out. And because she was freaking out, she started get bigger like she started to swell and get like you know and like you know she she, oh, was, she wasn't gonna get through so we had the in front of her the couple of people that were in front of her and this guy and myself we had to sort of continue on and eventually we got into this area like we came through the after an hour and a half or whatever of going through this channel this, this tiny little hole we got into this amazing like it was fucking this cave with all these stalagmites and stel yeah uh, just the most fucking impressive like gallery natural gallery you wow ever seen. Mm. stuff that had been like you know um developed over millions Thousand of years million, thousands, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, mm -hmm. and then he had to go back and basically pull her through like you know it was just like and we're, we're just sitting there. But he waiting. left her there first. Hey? <laughs> he left, yeah, yeah, he left her there. Yeah, he left her there. But there was one, there was a couple of people behind her, but they couldn't go any further. And you went, you couldn't go back. You had to go forward. The only way it was forward. And um, and eventually, panic got, for being stuck behind her too, and knowing that you cannot yeah. regulate yourself back, yeah. man. She's crying. It's all going, all this shit going on. And eventually, he got it through. Um, but. He told me I was having a chat with him later on. Eventually, we came out on the other side of the mountain. So like basically, he had sort of found this hole, and the way he fucking used to find it, and I just can't believe this, but he used to go by himself, put a bit of string around his toe, and basically he'd come across a hole, and he would just go and explore, mm. see where the hole ended up. And he'd just like, you know, this fine string around his toe so he knew, I don't know, maybe how to get back or whatever. Fuck, and, man. But I mean, it was a fucking, one of the no, scariest man. moments, I reckon. Yeah, I that's a double click or no. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I'd never do it again. I, I, you, I, I mean, when but, I was a kid, I was claustrophobic. And then I kind of worked that out of my system. So I'm not claustrophobic now. But, like, the one out of 
not even a handful of things that have actually stopped when I was about to do it. Mm. And just like, no, no, I'm not going to do it. One was in this, these caves in the Philippines with my ex-girlfriend, who was half Filipina, yeah, from the States, but went there to visit her family to the, in Philippines and shit. And we went to this cave and that was the first, actually the first, so we went into the big cave first. And then like, it was so tiny that going down there, that, that as I was going down and breathing, you know, my, 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 my chest, mm. you know, touched the, touched the walls. And I was like, no, 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 this is, that, yeah. that, that's the one time that, that, that came back, that claustrophobia yeah. that had been gone for like so long. Yeah. But I was like, no, man. And that was the one time I like backed out. Yeah. Like, really out of like three times in my life that I can remember that. Uh, yeah. Like, no, nah, not, nah, no, not for me. Uh-uh. And I, honestly, I, I don't think I'd ever do anything oh. ever again. Like, yeah, that was just. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. I've done cabin diving, not cave diving, but cabin diving. What, what, is, that? what is that? Uh, so that's, uh, so that's, that's underwater caves as well, but, but it's a little bit different, uh, different definitions. Yeah. Um, so with a, it, it's about uh, it has to do with distance to the exit etc like that and like cave diving you go you know all the way in and through cavern it's like uh, they got a lot of cenotes in mexico so these sinkholes yeah mm -hmm. that have gotten like so it's been a cave system and then mm -hmm. like rain has you know like right. Ah, oh, right, Phil Lamp. Created mm -hmm. a hole yeah, in right. the top, you know, during the, you know, yeah. millions of years until it, you know, a hole and then it gets water filled, yeah. So you can swim in this, which is fucking amazing. Right? Wow. So it's like, it's not really what I'm into diving for because I'm into diving for the nature and for the animals, yeah. So that, that's what I like about it. I'm not like doing it for, I like adrenaline, but it's not yeah. for adrenaline that I yeah. do it. But, like there you don't almost see any life yeah you right. just you just see like, like this like yeah, it looks yeah. like you're on another planet yeah. that... it's uh mm. and there, there's a lot of them there's like like in the especially in the east of mexico right it's the in oaxaca yeah, right. it's, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, one fresh, of them i dove with a crocodile which, that was my a dream for me to die with a crocodile and that was in one of those cenotes but that was like yeah, a, right. more of a open Kind of cenote, but some are like low, but it's not like you can still, you know, it's not like you don't have to squeeze through when it's cavern, mm. you know, mm -hmm. cave. You come to chapters where you have to like squeeze through oh, and stuff like God. that. Yeah, take, in cavern, take, you take can take always it. like turn around, you know, yeah, you can turn okay. around physically and go, you yeah, know, no back, yeah. like with some cave diving, you, you cannot, you cannot turn around, you know, no, you, you know, you just have to continue, yeah. I suppose you'd have to take your tank off and all that sort of shit to get... Yeah, yeah. Turn, you so know, in yeah, cabin yeah. diving, you use regular dive equipment. Yes, yeah, right. you have a tank on your back, etc. Yeah, in right. in cave diving, you have to have the, the right. side mount where you can, you know, mm. switch position and stuff. Right. Right. That can't get right. mm. No, man. No, man. And, you know, if you lose it, if you lose it there, and this is something like... Yeah. These experienced cave divers, that's their main thing that they talk about, yeah, and that they're like, because it's in all of us, yeah, you're like the possibility of you losing your calm when you're there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh when yeah. When you lose your calm in a situation like that, yeah, then you're fucking done. Yeah. You are fucking done. Yeah. There's also like the sediment, yeah, which is in both caves and caverns, yeah. So the sediment, yeah. So you have to use a special finning technique, yeah. Right. Because if you just uh, okay. kick regularly, yeah, then you all, kick up dust. Mm, all of a sudden, you don't anything. know anything. You know, you, you cannot see anything. You, you, it's, yeah. And then it's the water. You know, so you have limited time, obviously, too. Yeah. Uh, you know. Nah. Yeah, those those caves. I mean, that 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 type of, you know, going through it. No. Nah. That is for. Yeah. Touching a bit of string to your toe. Yeah, Nico almost died. In uh, in Mexico. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was uh, the the guy who was working on Alexa yeah, uh, yeah. a couple of years ago. He was telling me a story, you know, like he was he was in Mexico. He loves cave diving and all that stuff, and he's into adrenaline definitely. And uh, and basically they went cup, you know, I think two of them, and uh, they lost their way. Yeah, right. This something happened, and they just didn't know where they were. 
Yeah. And uh, the story kind of goes, you know, like that, you know, like uh, they're maybe at, I don't know, 20 bars. Yeah. And that's like, you know, it's yeah. game over. Yeah. And then at probably, I don't know, seven bars, <clears throat> they have this kind of little opening oh. when they both of them are like sucking that last air and they kind of figured out that there are two kind of holes yeah and they're like now <laughs> throwing the dice you know like where to go yeah and seven bar is like you're done i mean you're yeah, just yeah. done That's really and they chose the right one and literally went through that thing and three meters up just everything opens up uh, oh, but I mean, you know, I was like, I was listening to that story. I was like, uh, what the fuck, man? That is just too close. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they just lost the weight. It's just some rope was was off. Whatever, whatever yeah, happened, right. and and it was done. I mean, you're just fucking done. Yeah. The, the, the thing with yeah, uh, yeah, that man. The, the thing with being underwater and being like is that. You have your limit, even if you're not in a, you know, enclosed place, you can still be stuck, yeah? Because yeah, you right, can be, yeah. because you get, because of pressure, etc. like oh, that, you yeah, might man. not be able to dart up to the surface. Like, of course. Yeah, when right. I did my dive master here, so like eight, nine years ago, I did it with a local guy called Vandy, uh, who was, who was also at the same time working for Dive Komodo and he was doing his dive master and we were doing it together. We were the first students of Rian, who's still the instructor in Dive Komodo. Mm -hmm. Right. And we did, and we did the last exercise in our Dive Master thing, which is a, which was a mapping exercise. So we we're supposed to map out this area, take notes, counting kick cycles, you know, to know distance, and you know, making a sketch of it to be able to like, you know, draw it as as precise mm -hmm. as possible, and. My friend was doing the kick cycles and I was at that point and I was like holding the line and he went like and not very far from here actually. 